Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and More. Today we have a bone lesion which is known as aneurysmal bone cyst or ABC lesion. So aneurysm is nothing but uh, a change in the artery. There is a sponge-like change or a localized growth which is happening in the artery. So this is seen within the bone as it's like changes due to the malformation of the artery resulting uh, the osteolytic type of lesion within the bone which is known as aneurysmal bone cyst. So let's see the details of ABC. So aneurysmal bone cyst it is a benign expansile and osteolytic lesion with a thin wall which contains blood filled cystic cavities okay so the term aneurysm or aneurysmal is derived from its macroscopic appearance that is a sponge like tumor which contains numerous giant cells so the basic uh, pattern is the long bones which has osteolytic lesions that is sponge like lesion due to the changes in the artery or the malformation of the vascular uh, structures resulting a cyst like cavity within the bone so that is aneurysmal bone cyst so the basic etiology is uh, the ma vascular malformation uh, the true etiology is uh, unknown so this uh, ABC is basically of three types that is uh, the aneurysmal bone cyst which arise without um, evidence of any other lesions which is uh, primary ABC so primary ABC and it could also be uh, caused by a reaction uh, secondary to another bony lesion okay uh, that is uh, minimal around uh, 1 to 20 percentage and the third type is uh, which arise in area of previous trauma so primary ABC then uh, secondary to another bony lesion and the last one is uh, the ABC which arise in area of previous trauma okay those these three types are there now let's move on to the clinical features so they can be found in any bone in the body but the most common location is uh, metaphysis of long bones of lower extremity uh, which is more common in lower extremity uh, than the upper extremity so the vertebral uh, bodies or arches of the spine also may be involved and half of the cases involving more than one vertebrae and um, approximately one half of the lesion in flat bones occur in the pelvis okay so it can be seen in vertebrae pelvis and the lower extreme bones so it is uh, presented as a painful mass or a swelling or a pathologic fracture or combination of these symptoms in the affected area so it could be uh, a mass or swelling or pathological fracture with pain and there could be uh, neurological symptoms uh, because it might involve the nerve in that particular area typically the spinal nerves and other findings are decreased movement uh, weakness or stiffness and warmth over that affected area so the histological part is it is uh, consists of blood filled spaces of variable size that are separated by connective tissue containing trabeculae of bone or osteo tissue and osteoclast giant cells they are not lined by endothelium so in radiographic appearance uh, it is most commonly seen in uh, metaphysis and appears as a osteolytic lesion and the periosteum will be elevated and the cortex is eroded to thin margin so the expansile nature of the lesion is often reflected as a blow out or soap bubble appearance because of this trabeculae between the uh, the lesion 
so the lesion rarely penetrates the articular surface or uh, other plates and differential diagnosis includes uh, fibrous dysplasia chondroblastoma simple bone cyst or giant cell tumor of bone or osteoblastoma so all these could be uh, the differential diagnosis of uh, ABC and in treatment part uh, we should uh, conduct a embolization preoperative embolization we should uh, perform embolization uh, it's nothing but procedure which uses uh, particles such as tiny uh, gelatin sponges or beads to block a blood vessel so it may be used to stop bleeding uh, to block the flow of blood to a tumor or any abnormal area of tissue and another methods are uh, curettage, uh, bone grafting and uh, the resection process along with bone graft and radiation therapy and the complications uh, it could um, result in pathological fracture neurologic symptoms because of the involvement of nerves and there will be mechanical disruptions so that is all about a neurosomal bone cyst which is a sponge like lesion which is present within the bones the long bones especially the lower extremities and also in pelvis and vertebra the vascular malformation resulting in sponge like uh, cystic cavity within the long bone okay so that is all about abc i'll come up with a new topic in the industry more thank you